Don't listen to this guy. He'll shatter your soul and dreams. Stay away while you can. Oh man. I was reviewed by Dominic and ever since then I'm having nightmares. Would recommend though. Thanks for the review, Dominic. Now I'm sad. Don't listen to this guy. <laughs> I I botched the intro. That's what it. That's what it's like when we're really live. When we're really live. Well, let's just put this away, and let's just see if it actually worked. I I pressed the wrong button. Hello, Dominators. Uh, my name is Dominic. In case you don't know, if you don't know my name, <laughs> that would be weird. So, what's up, people? Let's let me just check the 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 chat box right here. I have something prepared in the past few minutes because I've been watching the chat box right before I went online, okay? And I've got something prepared. We're gonna take a look, look in some investigative. Oh, I can't speak today. Well, um, first of all, what's up, uh, Summit Kumar? What's up, people? What's up, Mingo? That's a nice name. What's up, A Boss Rocks? What's up, Jeremy Lanton? Um, what's up, Adam Kaczynski, man, oh, my friend? <laughs> What's up, Argus Dorian? Hey, my friends. Uh, I really appreciate you coming on live with me today. Um, oh, look at you, Dominic. It seems like I put some chat box in here. Wow. That's something I didn't, I didn't think about. Probably should come over here, huh? Because the chat box in the right. Wow. What do you think about the chat box? So uh, how are you guys doing? Uh, Cesare Krasmowski, hello, how was your trip? My trip, which trip? Uh, the trip to Ukraine, it was actually amazing. You know, it was actually, well, amazing. It's, I go there a lot, but it was not really different from the other times, if you ask me, to be honest. What's up, Georgia Carrera? Hello, Dominators. Uh, what's up, Quacky Art and all the other people? How are you doing, my friends? How are you doing? We have a live stream today. Yeah, uh, obviously. <laughs> do you review all the profiles? What do you mean all the profiles? Um, probably I can't review all the profiles. We're going to do a few of them today. Three to five, I guess. Um, I slept for four hours and 35 minutes. Kudos to my Apple Watch, which I'm not wearing right now. Um, but um, I track my sleep. And turns out if I have less than eight hours of sleep, no, my friends, it doesn't work. This probably doesn't work, uh, help either. Yo, he hello uh, from Bulgaria. I have a friend, actually, another YouTuber. I think he lives there. Hello to Latvia. Hello, ADR. ADR, wh why is that name ADR? I once um, was in, in some Hollywood studio, and they did, I believe that was called ADR. I watched them kind of put some some sound effects on some movies. I think that, that it's called ADR. Reels engagement still sucks and won't be TikTok and they until they fix this. Yeah, I, I wish I could I wish I could talk about this right now, but uh, since I'm in Austria, we still don't have it. At least I don't have it. And I don't know anybody who has it here. So it's, it kind of sucks to be honest. I should probably move to to the US, right? But I can't because the borders are closed. So wow. Cheers to Spain back. Um, Reels is here, Dominic. 
Amy Surf, uh, where, where are you from? I know we talked about it probably before. Argus Dorian, hello from Greece. Come here. We don't have COVID here. <laughs> yeah, I have friends. I have actually friends who live there. I have friends who are there right now uh, for a vacation. Hello to Switzerland. Well, I love Switzerland watches. <laughs> so, um, um, Mozambique, Dominic, listen, level with me. Have your people contact mine and we'll talk about some revolutionary tactics. Well, why don't you just uh, send me an email? You know, that would be easier. Hello from Seattle. Hello back. That's your initials, ADR. Uh, it's just interesting. Hello uh, to Canada. What happened to the dark shirts? <laughs> well, I figured today I'm just going to wear a different dark shirt. And just darken it on the eyes. You know, change. 2020 is all about change. That's what I predicted last year. Uh, yeah. I guess I was right on that one. What do you think about Bitcoin? Well, I believe, if you ask me, it's going to, in the long, in the very long term, it's going to be really, really good. You know, I'm invested in it. And uh, I will continue to invest in it, to be honest, because I think in the next, let's say, five to ten years, I believe there might be some headway, some headroom. Hello to India. When is the review going to start? The review is going to start pretty soon because uh, we're going to be here for about an hour, an hour and a half, something like this. I have two things prepared. I'm not sure if actually uh, my prepare thing is um oh yeah i see it i see it you, you guys just don't know it yet yeah i love these kinds of things let me just check something here before uh before we get into today's agenda um yeah i'm checking something i'm checking something Now, so first of all, first of all, before we get in, uh, will there be an after party again? No, today won't be an after party because I'm, I'm really tired today. I say that a lot, I believe, <laughs> but no after party today, but we're going to do a live stream next week, probably in not, not even in a week. Now here's, here's one thing. Here's a very amazing, um, what's it called? Nah, man, man. The words are already missing right now. Uh, kind of an amazing announcement that I have from a guy that we uh, reviewed a few weeks slash months back. You know? <laughs> Thanks a lot, uh, Roland, Leonardo. I just stole your motorcycle. Yeah. It's probably worth two, two euros. <laughs> but thank you, my friend. So, um, so there's one thing something really nice a few weeks months i don't remember uh we reviewed some of you guys like always and there was matt and matt actually uh, sent me a dm uh, on monday i just happened to check my dms right before we went online um and dom uh no and uh, matt if you remember his account the model dude um he said he'd been doing the 90 days challenge and uh, probably um yeah the things that we talked about in the review, uh, he started on June 14 with his Instagram account. He started from scratch. He killed it with the 90 day challenge and the, the things that we talked about here. And guess what? On Monday, he was at 1000 followers. Um, oh yeah. We did a review three weeks ago and, uh, guess what? Today he's on 1,102 followers, my friends. So, you know, this is what's going to happen. This is amazing. So, uh, kudos to you, model statics. You're great. Now, let me just ch check something out here. Change the scene again. So, yeah, this is what's going to happen if, if, if you get reviewed or if you really grind and uh, do the work. Uh, by the way, talking about grinding and work, I'm right now I'm preparing a amazing free training. A free training. Because I believe if I give you much more than you deserve what did i just say but you no know, if i i want to just give you so much back for you know tuning into my live streams for commenting on for just everything that you do so i'm gonna prepare a free training that's 
better than anything, any free thing that I've ever done before. And um, yeah, this is kind of an outlook because Matt, you know, he did a lot of things right and he kind of grew right. So uh, hello, Anita. Oh, yeah, I saw you before. Um, thanks for tuning in, by the way. Um, how to join the 90 day challenge? Well, uh, for now, just watch the video. I have a video. I would type into YouTube, hey, Dominic, 90 day challenge. And uh, yeah, we're going to talk about this kind of like on steroids in the free training to get you started. Whew. Now, cheers, my friends. Who's going to drink some dirty water with me? It's not vodka. It's not beer. It's um, I don't remember what it is. <laughs> so now what we're going to do. It's been a while since we've been online, right? The last time. Last time I was in Odessa. Odessa, I believe I was. Uh, so it's been a, a few weeks ago. Uh, oh, I I cut a vlog right after the, the live stream. I didn't upload it yet. On my second channel, the vlog channel, which uh, has no videos yet. But it's going to happen. It's going to happen. So uh, <laughs> if you want to see some behind-the-scenes action... Um, yeah, I have a second channel. It's linked in the description. Let me just turn on some some something here because it's getting hot. And um, yeah, do you think TikTok will fall? Well, it it's really hard. It's really a hard topic, TikTok. If you ask me, um, I'm not in the loop. Did did they actually ban it in the U.S.? No, not yet, right? So there's probably just talks about it, um, but. Um, yeah, the things that I that they're doing right now with TikTok, it, it's something that we've never seen before, you know, uh, and it, you know it's hard to make predictions in this case, to be honest. But uh, yeah, if you take a look at what Instagram did in the back in the past, you know they took some competitors and they kind of took them and took their their uh, features and trashed it. Which is probably what's uh, gonna happen. Did you upload the same vlog on both accounts, Amy? No, I just uh, put some some links to vlog videos from my main account here uh, on my second account. Dev Kaushal, will you review accounts today? Yes, we will. Pretty soon. Uh, in a few minutes, actually. We're gonna start reviewing accounts. Um, and drinking some water as well, some real water. So... Maybe Microsoft's going to buy TikTok. Who knows? Microsoft just launched this um, streaming service a few months back. And um, yeah, they kind of said, nope, it's not going to work out. Which is stupid, if you ask me. You know, you can't know after a few months whether it's going to work out or not. But um, who am I to tell? Who am I to judge? Um Alex Putusina. Oh, Alex, you can better explain to us how it works with money and Instagram. Oh, yes. There is inside the free training. We're going to talk about money. In my black file, there's going to be a huge update coming actually about making money, about making real money. And on my channel as well, we're going to start talking a lot about money starting next week just because, you know, with all the problems that are happening all around the world. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's time to make money for a lot of you guys because um, I know people were like back when I started a few a uh, few years ago they were all like you know you don't you don't want to have something safe a safe job that pays the bills every month well guess what now they figured that or a lot of people probably figured that safe jobs are actually not so super safe you know we just haven't seen anything like that before but turns out my business for example. No difference. So, um, and this is what I'm going to teach you that almost everybody will uh, be able to monetize their Instagram account no matter how many followers, let's just say. Let's just stay start, uh, say starting with 1,000, 1,500 followers. You can easily make money, at least a couple of hundred bucks, probably even more if, you know, obviously there's always a huge range, but uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, PPG, hey bro, uh, ghost followers killed my account, then I deleted them at once, and my account is complete fucked up. Please suggest if I should make another account or continue with the same. Now, when did you, 
when did you delete your ghost followers? Usually, here's the thing. If you, do, I did a video about ghost followers. I have a ghost follower removal service. You know, if you, you know, should have done it with us, your account would have not been fucked up. Just telling you how it is. Because probably because you deleted them at once. And that's never good to flood Instagram with some actions. Uh, they will think you're a weirdo. They will think you are spamming. Oh, I know what's missing today. This light. My mate was here. She put the light away. So, um, yeah, let's just take a look at your account really quick. Because I'd love to know um, what's going on. Uh, whether you should create a new account or not. Let me just paste this in right here. Well, are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> this is your account. How many how many followers did you delete? That'd be interesting. Twin Twin TZ. You have four followers. What do you mean your account is fucked up? I don't understand what what that means. If you have what what do you mean with four four followers? That'd be interesting for me to know. You know, write in the chat. In the meantime, let me just um, paste your username into Social Blade. Oh yeah, then we have a chat box right in the video. Turns out Social Blade has some issues or what? Let me just uh, paste that in right here. Um, you lost. Uh, okay, let me just check what happened. Where did? How did you start off with? Um, I just saw something say, well, anybody who's already in the black file will have to pay for the upgrade. No, of course not. You know, you're, if you manage to get into the black file, uh, you're going to get the updates forever, you know, and uh, there's not, you know, I'm not a scammer who says, well, you paid for my premium price program. You paid for, you know, my, whoa, you paid for my, for my top notch product and then you have to pay for the update. No, my friends, no. Once you're in, you're in. And uh, I can I continue to nurture nurture the black file for years, you know, and who knows where the party goes. Um, but um, yeah, so no worries about that. You don't have to pay extra for that. Plus, here's the thing, by the way, here's the thing. Uh, once the update for the black file is out, the price is going to go up. Um, well, actually, right now you can't join mostly. Um, but uh, just so you know, well, if you didn't join in the beginning stages, Kind of bad for you because the price is going to go up, my friends. Now, you had 400 followers, I guess, and you deleted them until you have four followers right now. Is that right? Um, now, obviously, I missed your, your name in the chat box. But, um, of course, you don't have to create a new account. But it doesn't matter whether you want to create a new account or not because uh, you're starting from scratch anyway. Uh, money and finance business ideas and online growth strategies. Okay. Okay. That m might be still, you know, if, if you were my student, I would still say it's too too broad of a niche, to be honest. Because um, money and finance, okay. For business ideas and online growth strategies, what do you mean growth? Growth for online business or growth for what? Traffic on a website, social media traffic. You know, that's kind of kind of hard to tell. Um, grooming tips, Starbucks marketing strategy. Well, it's a very broad stuff that you post there. And, um, you know, especially growing for, uh, the initial stages, it's going to be hard to grow if you're super broad like this. Now there's something, uh, that I wanted to tell you something very interesting. And this, this post kind of reminded me of that I love this post by the way it's very interesting because I didn't know about that so you're gonna kind of like uh, this is oh this is really his um, business card because here's the thing there's a word in there which we're not gonna say but if I were to say it it would be bitch <laughs> and here's the thing something very interesting that I have um, figured out recently you know, we I've talked about it a lot, but recently I've got I've gotten another 
um, another interesting insight about that, about these X-rated, X-rated words, you know, which in my opinion, you know, as long as you're not super hateful towards anybody, if you say fuck or bitch or something like this, you know, if you, you know, if, if you don't want to, yeah, whatever, it's not too bad, but Instagram doesn't really like it because here's the thing. This post, after a few months of not posting, has some reasons. There's going to be a video coming up. But uh, I didn't post this picture. This post, which, by the way, you should all like right now. Because then the uh, next person I'm going to pick from uh, the likers. I'm not, I'm not just saying that because this post doesn't have a lot of likes. But here's the thing. I tell you exactly why this post doesn't have a lot of likes. And uh, some, some proof of that. Let me just drink something. Um, I have this shirt. Well, granted, it's it's a kind of a parody picture. But I have this shirt, and you can see these words in there. Not even the full words, because the K is missing. Yeah? Now, here's the thing. I always talk about it. The Instagram and the spam detection algorithm detects these things. And um, you're probably going to, you know, uh, put down your reach. Now, we've done, I've done a lot of tests, and I was 99% sure of that, you know. But then I tried to promote the post just out of curiosity. Um, plus, you know, uh, for uh, the people who are inside the black file, um, we have a a kind of like an exercise or a tactic to get out of a shadow ban. And usually if you don't post for a long time, um, you, you promote your posts uh, using some certain steps. And, uh, you know, if you do that the correct way and if you do it for two or three posts, it's, uh, yeah, it's going to get you out of the shadow ban really quickly and also uh, f for your hashtag shadow bans and hashtag reach. Because as you can see right here, um, Hashtag reach is only 1,600 on this post. Usually, let me just show you that in the post before. Usually, hashtag reach is more like 10,000 on my you know, posts. Now, I tried to promote this post, and guess what happened? They said, nope, it's rejected because of community guideline. It goes against the community guideline because hateful speech, which is bad. Because now I know they kind of flagged my personal <laughs> account again. We're going to get out of this. But uh, again, because of this, my friends. Because of this, what's on my shirt. By the way. Oh. Well. I'm going to bring out a new uh, shirt collection probably with these things on there. Just so you know. But um, And now uh, I have some screenshots. So I'm going to put it in probably in a video. But uh, this is very interesting. So really take care with, um, you know, things like that. Because, uh, you know, bitch obviously is from Zuck. Zuckerberg. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Just so you know. Just, just to stay aware of that. Now. I totally forgot. Oh, thanks a lot, Victor Fernandez Photography. Thanks a lot uh, for the super chat. I will, like always, try to include all of the people, um, all of the Super Chat people, but I just can't, uh, for the long run, take people who, you know, I just we, I don't want to make it a pay-to-win kind of situation here on these uh, live streams. Plus, uh, like always, I will donate the Super Chat revenue from this stream, like always, you know, so anyway, now. Uh, Sonia LD, Ghost Followers killed my account too. I used to get decent views on my videos, but now they struggle. And not deleted any Ghost Followers yet. Yeah, here's the thing. You should probably delete some Ghost Followers because um, it, it seems to work pretty well. Sometimes it takes a few months until you can actually see your reach go back up. But sometimes it's actually almost immediately. And for all of the people um, who want to remove their who were on the fence about removing the Ghost Followers, um, right now, I activated actually the link. I, I guess, I hope so. At least I'm going to write my, my business partner. Um, use the code Hey Dominic upon checkout on the Ghost Follower removal service, and you're going to get, I guess, 20% off. We're just going to put this in for the next 24 hours again. So, a uh, link is probably in the description. 
coupon code, discount code is my name, Hey Dominic. Now, so let me just try to figure out uh, where the chat box is. For now, it did not stop like always. But uh, let's take one of you. And uh, just because we feel like it, we're going to take actually uh, Victor Fernandez. Are you still here? I hope you're still here. Um, and tell me, tell me your niche. Obviously, I know uh, it's Victor Fernandez photography, but tell me more about it. Tell me what do you want to do with your account. Tell me your goals, your desires, your fears. Tell me, tell me what you did last summer. If we're not gonna figure that out. Here. Victor Fernandez, Keith Hernandez. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, I got some likes <laughs> from you people, which I'm very appreciative. And we're going to take pick, like I said. Next one is going to be one of you guys who liked my 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 picture that says, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's just what happens. So, Victor uh, Hernandez. Fernandez, I'm so sorry. Victor Fernandez. Fernandez, uh, what's your goals? Uh, I'd love to know because otherwise we can't really help you here. Obviously, you're a oh. Let me just uh, phone right here. Plug in your mic correctly again. You don't hear? Can you hear me? I hope you can hear me. But um, yeah, so um, can I see Victor here somewhere here? No. Now. Your visual storyteller capture what catches my eye and camera is my paintbrush. I like I like I like the the message of that. But um with the with the hashtags in there and with this non non minified link it just looks to it looks super cluttered. It looks just not pleasing to the eye. And here's the thing people Tell me your first impression. Obviously, now you're kind of biased. But tell me. Like, you know, whenever we review one of you guys, you guys, please, uh, you know, say uh, or tell me your opinion about this account. First of all, uh, starting with the bio. Um, yeah, so your pictures are actually pretty good, are actually pretty solid. Now, this is nice. Where are you from? From Germany? No. Uh, you're probably from all around the world. You tend to post quite a lot. 427. Okay. 459. Um, 455. And um, your engagement is actually not too bad considering uh, the recent times uh, considering the hashtags now I've been doing some tests with some other accounts and I will continue to do some tests with my with my personal account try to use less hashtags try to use less hashtags and try to really rank on them and try and this by the way goes for everybody <laughs> you know in case you didn't know and try to I'll check your mic I have to check my mic. Okay. Watch out. And here's the thing. My mic is an old microphone. What about my microphone? Does my microphone work, people? The use, somebody says the username looks too much. Hello, Norma Moon. <laughs> uh, Victor Fernandez Photography. It's kind of like a long stuff a long long um long uh, username sometimes that's hard but you know you're gonna grow organically you know and uh, it's not gonna matter too 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 much but well here's the thing try less hashtags and try to rank rank on them and actually try to um you know for example with hashtastic you can actually uh, check the performance of your hashtags let me just check that out really quick here My computer works. My computer works better now on the streams. 
but still not perfect. Now, here's the thing, the big lesson I, that I could give you. Break up your bio, break up your posts a little bit into paragraphs and stuff. Because it seems like what you write in there is pretty good. But um, still, because I can see you have somewhat of a nice, nicely engaged audience here. Now... You know, if you break that up a little bit, make it a little bit more pleasing to the eye. Well, this is nice. Okay, now I understand. Um, yeah, then uh, obviously it would be a lot better. It it would be interesting how you grow. What what your main main growth metrics are. So. There you go, huh? You people now now you know if you if you react to my stories or if you sent me a DM, you're gonna see it here on the live stream on the top uh, top thing here, right? <laughs> now I'm just gonna wait for my computer. I'm gonna show you something on um, on uh, about hashtags, about hashtastic actually. Which, uh, you know, if you're really serious about growing with hashtags, totally do that. Now, here's the thing. Let me just um, check my latest post. And this is a new feature. And it's going to cost... Um, yeah, you're going to have to be on the premium feature for that. But it's so worth it. Plus, if you're a dominator, I think if you join through my link, usually you have like three... I think usually you have three campaigns... Per month so three posts I think per month for free that you can track on your hashtags where you actually rank but if you sign up through my link I'm gonna have to check upon that I will make another video you're gonna get more five or seven or something like this I can't promise how much but you're gonna get more for sure if you sign up for my uh, you know through the link down in my description anyway here you can set up on the account tab I think hashtag performance campaign you can set up something a, a campaign, you know, analyzing your uh, hashtags, where you rank on. Now, I only did two posts, and uh, I ranked on 20 hashtags. Now, obviously, the la let me just check my the latest post, what the metrics of my latest post actually say in terms of hashtags. Um, kind of hard to see right now because everything seems to be not working seems to not wow we just figured something out my friends we just figured out an instagram update right on the air i've never seen this before in my life so let me just go over to the chat you guys are part of history <laughs> um yeah let me just make myself big are you ready type in you're ready to see a new instagram update that's awesome as hell that's really gonna help a lot okay type in yes i'm ready <laughs> yeah guess what's gonna happen tomorrow or on saturday i'm gonna make a video about this update and uh, obviously hashtag will help a lot with that as well so i'm still waiting for your yeses if nobody says yes i'm gonna log off and we'll delete the channel and I will start to work on a potato farm because obviously um, I think it can be kind of nice oh there you go I you already write that my, my chat on my left screen screen is really lagging here the chat's amazing now here's the thing okay I wish I had some suspenseful music let me I think I have suspenseful music okay Nobody knows because I can't hear the music myself. But. There you go. <laughs> no, it's not reels, my friends. Yeah, we're live here. That's why everything takes a little bit longer. But that's the nature of being live, okay? Yes. I just wanted to check my la latest post how it worked. And obviously, I'm a little bit shadow banned. 
because I didn't pay, uh, post. Hashtag still only 1,900 impressions. But look what I figured out right now, what they do. Did you see that before, my friends? Because I did it. I heard about it that they were thinking about including that. But this is next level shit. You can see the impressions from your hashtags. I can see that I got almost all of my... Um, now, this is really interesting. I can see that I have almost all of my impressions from hashtag style fashion. Well, what about the music? Where's the fucking music? I want to make it... You don't hear the music. Oh, this is, this is a scam. Because I have some background music on here. Now, we're going to have to figure out why exactly this is the thing. No, 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 no. It's just the view insights. Don't ask me why it's... Did you see that, my friends? No, it's gone. There was some glitch. Did you see that? <laughs> now, we're... We're seeing something very special today. Did you just happen to see that live? Because now it's gone. And it said promotion insights. It said promotion insights. Crap. Only one follower from this post. How shitty is that? Post insights? No. Okay. There must have been some glitch, people. But you saw that, right? I didn't take a, a, a screenshot. It's gone. There it was. Instagram is spying on you. Yeah, Adam. It seems like Instagram is spying or doing something. Wow. Um. Yeah, that's really weird. Now I'm now it's too much for me. I could see that I got most of my hashtags from style fashion. Now, here's the thing. Let's hop back to uh, uh, Hashtastic right here because with Hashtastic, you can actually track that. And you can see the rank that I got on this post and in this post, uh, the rank, where I was ranked. And this is another interesting thing because we're style fashion because we can't see style fashion here. Oh, there you go. And this is something that I'm going to have to do some, um, some, uh, you know, dig deep into the insights. Because they said style fashion, I got 1,000 impressions here with this hashtag. Okay? But I was only on rank 54. Now, this was the, this was the biggest hashtag, or the, the most impressions I got from this hashtag. Now, as you can see... Now, this would be interesting. Wow, people, I have to figure that out, what happened here. But here, here's to the Rebels. Obviously, this is kind of like what I, you know, daily average post count one because it's me because <laughs> I put it in there. Um, so as you can see, I did not rank too well in the hashtag. Same goes for here. Here's to the Rebels. Only seven, usually seven. But here's the thing. If you continue to do that, if you analyze your hashtags with hashtag, Plus, if you get if if, any, if we ever get this hashtag, this update on Instagram, uh, that we can actually see the impressions, then your rank, you know, combined with the uh, with the impressions that we get, we can actually craft some growth pretty pretty well. We can actually see what which hashtag is working really well. Well, you can see it here as well. But um, yeah, this this would be ultra next level. But um, was that weird, my friends? That was really weird. I wish I could figure out why. Why this happened. Very strange. Very strange. Now. Yeah. So, what do you guys say? What do you guys say to this? Yo, yo, you, this is so great tactic. Well, hashtags are super important in case you didn't know that. Hashtags, whew, very big, very big. Uh, most, um, you know, especially when you start, 
the 90 day challenge kind of you know you kind of have to be a little bit care careful about that but uh combined with uh, using hashtags and the hashtags only work if you're if you're not shadow banned you know if you're not hashtag shadow banned um yeah this is this is gonna be for you know 70 percent of what you need in order to grow now so who are we gonna pick oh yes yes i remember who we're gonna pick we're gonna pick one of you guys who liked my picture who actually liked my uh, my my second picture my second to latest picture there you go <laughs> okay you got me you got me sarpash a makeup artist just wrote something very funny <laughs> kindly review my account this was very kind of you the way that you say that which is why i can't refuse this offer you know kindly review my account yes i will kindly review your account um what's your name sarpash you have a lot of followers that's the first thing that i see a lot of followers now we're gonna do something i'm gonna have to talk to hype auditor by the way because um we're gonna we're gonna use your account and we're just gonna pull it pull it through hype auditor because just because i want to know you know makeup artist sarpash makeup artist there you go 365,000 followers as you can see i put this in um hype auditor um 365,000 followers now before we take a look at this hype auditor stats like always first of all i want to know your opinion of the dominator community what um what do you think about the account what do you think yeah what do you think about that obviously uh, i'm not super into makeup <laughs> so you know um uh, thank you for subscribing some me to sigh thanks a lot man or woman <laughs> hey ina i finally got you live <laughs> is it was really a glitch in the matrix now what do you think about this account people somebody says uh, uh bio too much info okay interesting uh break up the bio the highlights okay well wow. here's the thing they're very 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 uh, right about that you should break up the bio just like we talked about in the last uh in the last review arrange your bio yeah see and this is this is always very interesting uh because um because no, no, I lost my train of thought because I saw somebody write, uh, where are you traveling next, Dominic? Um, we're going to see. I will probably travel to Berlin and then to Paris. Yeah, in the next month somewhere around that. But uh, probably I'm going to move. We're going to see. But maybe I'm going to move. So there's going to be quite some time. It's, it's going to consume quite some time. So first of all, please um, break up your bio. Make it more appealing now you have a salon so are you using your salon for um or are you using your instagram mainly to promote your salon and if yes why do you have so many followers let me just check your engagement Ten thousand likes 100 comments and um let me just t take a look at your account and uh your account your content this is great that was really great Okay, you know what to do with, you really know what to do with content. Wow, Woo. it flashes me. Look at this. Things are happening so fast, I don't even have time to think. And this is exactly how you make content on Instagram, video content. Because people ain't, ain't, <laughs> ain't got time for that, you know. Um, which is great, because it breaks them out of their autopilot. We have a lesson in, or maybe more, I don't remember. But we have a lesson in the, um, Uh, inside the black file uh, about 
getting people out of their autopilot, breaking their pattern kind of because because they're in the rut of, you know, scrolling down. And this is what you do with with posts like this. 100,000 views are actually pretty good. Now, like like with the other, this this does not look super, um, you know, super you know, broken up, super, you know, tidied up, which is what absolutely what you want to do, you know. Now, um, now what's that? Now, what, what what is that? Why do you have food exchange? We will start taking orders from third day. Why, why do you have that? I would not do that, to be honest. By the way, did you just see that up? Oh, it said blah blah blah. Just posted for the first time in a, for first time in a long time or something like this. Another another feature that not a lot of people know or talk about. That if you stop posting for a while, uh, and people follow you, first time you post, some people get notification, even though you might not have the notifications turned on. But this, why are you doing this? This ad is that your own company has nothing to do with your makeup stuff, and you can see. Only 12k views as opposed to 20. Okay, well, but uh, as opposed to 100k, for example. Now, how many likes do you have? 510 likes, as you can see. Usually, you have 10,000 likes. Now, yeah, probably not the best best idea to do that because um, yeah, it just takes away from your integrity, to be honest. Now, um, what else is going on? You have some uh, IGTV. Um, which is great. I believe if you have. I don't know if you have it because I can't see it. But um, Reels would be really good for you. Plus the new feature that I all already forgot again <laughs> would be good too. Um, yeah, I kind of like the t t t t tutorial kind of posts. <laughs> Why d why don't they verify us in less developed countries? Well, I What do you mean? You, you mean you don't have any you you just don't get verified here or is it just harder? Because um yeah, it, it's certainly harder to get verified. Because um yeah, Instagram and Facebook are weird. I just tell you how it is. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to pull your stuff through Um, uh, social blades you know slash uh, hype auditor by the way what's your monetization strategy for this account because um with with the amount of followers you can not only obviously you can uh, promote your salon but if you have some tutorials I'm sure you could either create some products some offline products like some makeup stuff I guess or um, or slash ants uh, some digital products you know and this is by the way what um, yeah, I talked about it, but uh, in the black file, what we're gonna talk about in the the up the upcoming update, plus in our YouTube channel here, talking about mainly uh, you know digital products and uh, services and how to actually set your Instagram up so that you actually sell, you can work with clients because for you it actually looks like it might be something really good. Now, desktop. I just pressed the button, but it seems... Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay, so let me check uh, your stuff with Hype Auditor. A uh, worldwide rank is actually 78,000, which is pretty good. I tell you how it is. You have a great quality score, uh, you know, according to Hype Auditor. They actually give you some real, real good metrics. Some real good metrics. Um, which means you've done... A lot of things right apparently um, how did you grow that'd be interesting for me like what what is what was your main growth growth strategy up until now there you go art and design which is interesting but here's the thing with hype auditor don't just blindly you know just don't just blindly take it as granted what they what they say in there because sometimes you know they, they're doing a lot of guesswork I guess but uh, 
mainly they're pretty good and um, follower growth you grew from okay you started off pretty heavily already um, all organic engagement rate 1.63 percent or one no 1.08 percent which is okay because uh, accounts in your your size that's just normal you know it's it's kind of sad but it's normal um comments okay see um significant part of 964 recent comments look inauthentic it'd be interesting to know whether you really are in some um in some uh engagement group or not um you know uh hard to say i'd love to know you know you can be honest with us um And this is another thing that's interesting for advertisers and stuff. Um, yeah, so let me just uh, switch back here to my phone, which now I believe. Oh, there you go. Trust is a computer. Should we trust the computer? No. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let me just check your stories really quick. Um, yeah, here, here's here's one. The main tip that I want you to take away from this. Try to make it a little bit more professional, you know, in a way. Because, you know, these accounts just randomly pop, 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 pop in there. Ah, you know, uh, your bio, your... Um, do you have something even there? Written there? Oh, there you go. See, this is kind of nice what you did here. But... Um, like this just try to break it up more uh, with the hashtags like I said um, try to be try to tidy up the profile um, and um, yeah otherwise you know doing a lot of things right maybe with with your story highlights maybe you can play a little bit more um, you know with, with the icons but um, that's actually just a very small part of that now Good. So let me just uh, check back the, the comments. Now it's kind of great because I can see the comments here on my monitor, my my other monitor too. And um, good. Now, do we have some questions up until now? You know, because we're gonna do one more. And then we're going to be gone again. <laughs> I'm reading three comments. Don't worry about that. Now, now um, right before we take... One of you guys. What? what? Do you have some suggestions about content here on YouTube? You know, because, um, yeah. I don't know if you've seen that, but in my, in my Instagram DMs, it's just, you know, I just give you a quick glance. It's just, you know, it's too much. And then there's a lot of requests, you know. Ugh, you know. So sometimes it's hard to actually read through all of them. So maybe if you have some suggestions about some specific topics that I make here uh, on the YouTube channel, just uh, let me know and I will gladly review them here. And um, yeah, if you have some questions for right now, obviously I'm going to answer them before we take the last one of you guys. Today we have a very short stream. Actually, it's not super short, huh? How long are we on? An hour, one hour. What a nice movie already, huh? <laughs> I'm a small account. How do I know what posts work with a little engagement to go on? Well, um, first of all, just grind it out until I have a baseline of followers, a baseline of engagement. And from then on, um, you're going to have to track the performance of each post and um, yeah, go from there and then double down on what you see works well 
and uh, you're going to see it's going to grow organically. <sighs> How can I see other people's likes if I'm in Canada? What do you mean? You mean um, you can't see how many likes they have? Uh, probably really hard. Maybe, maybe you can go take a VPN and go on the website of Instagram, the the, the web version, with a VPN from let's say uh, Austria or Germany, and then just take a look at that. Deadpool, hello Deadpool. <laughs> Ask is a short or a long caption better? Usually a longer is better, but some people just make it too long, which is not ideal. You know, two. Uh, sometimes, you know, you never want to be predictable. That's the main thing. Obviously, you want to relate with people. So, you know, if you just have some random quote that everybody does or just some some very boring shit, uh, that's not going to really, you know, it's not going to really make a difference. But, uh, you know, sometimes, sometimes you can make it longer. Usually, I would tell you to, uh, you know, make a longer caption. You know, really try... Try to be on a level with your audience. Try to talk. Try to animate them to have a conversation with you in the comments. Um, and sometimes you can break it up with some short stuff. No worries. Um, how many hashtags should we use? Um, there's so many different answers to that. Um, right now I say do um five to ten to maximum 15 hashtags right now this is my latest research my late very latest research as of last week <sighs> simmy seen some insta accounts with donate button is there any way to get uh, the donate button to get that for us too brother or for us too whatever um yeah, some people have the donate button. Usually, uh, I think it kind of correlates with some Facebook page or with the Facebook donate system. You know, don't quote me on that, though. Um, I've seen people have it. I've seen people have donate button for other, you know, for good causes. But um, some people already got a donate button for actually their own cause, you know, uh, which a lot of people still don't have. I think it's just rolled out to, let's say, 30% of people, somewhere around that. This is what I think. So um, here's the thing. But... Don't worry about a donate button. First of all, um, you know, create your own donate button. You know, you can set up a PayPal, but you don't necessarily just want to say, hey, donate for me, I'm so poor. Give him something in return. Say, you know, you can donate. You can still say, okay, you can donate because, you know, give him a reason, for example, you know, due to COVID, we've had some issues in our, you know, company or whatever. And we could really use your help. You know, here's the donate. Here's the donate link in my description, PayPal. And, um, you know, you can donate whatever you want. But you get something in return, you know, whatever that is. You know, and if it's just a shout out from you or a, you know, personalized message or something like this, you know. So you don't really have to rely on the donate button on Instagram. Obviously, you can, but you don't have to, you know. You can create your own one. So, we're going to take one of you guys, one more people. Uh, by the way, there's one question that I have for, for all you guys. Where are you from right now? Are you, are you from, uh, I've seen some people from Canada, some people from the U.S., but I guess it's kind of a bad time for people in the U.S. whenever I make my live streams, right? So, uh, maybe next time I'll just try to wake up really early and make a live stream right in the morning. You know, so uh, U.S. people also have the chance to actually be on here because, yeah, I think it's right around, you know, not even noon or probably noonish in the U.S. in parts of the U.S. So, um, yeah. So who are we going to pick, my friends? Who are we going to pick for the last review? You know, <laughs> India. 
India, India, Germany, Morocco, India. Oh, there you go. India. Oh, man. It's it's pretty late there, right? Unfortunately, I don't have a, a Rolex Sky Dweller, so I don't know the time in India. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Germany, Jan Knecht. Hello, my friend. Hey, John Blunt. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Hello, my father. It's actually my father is in here. How... How amazing is this? <laughs> well, now I can't tell the stories about how. <laughs> well, now it's, you know, my father's here. I can't tell the stories about how I, um, yeah, it, I wanted to say it, but uh, it's really X-rated. And it, re yeah. Anyway, it has something to do with some special times in the back of a van in the Hollywood Hills. <laughs> Well, anyway, so United States here. Hello, Jay Spanks. Hello, uh, Simi. Yes, brother, please. Oh, no, you're gone again. Um, Brazil, Sao Paulo. My ex-girlfriend's uh, family was from Sao Paulo. Just so you know. Greetings. Poland. I was just in Poland uh, three weeks ago or two, two weeks ago. Came to uh, Austria via Poland from the Ukraine. Nobody checked me out. Nobody. Zero people. You know? Just in case you were wondering. German boy, toasty raw, dude. Yo, my man. Lake Tahoe. Lake Tahoe, man. Wow. Got some memories there. You can go skiing, right? Now... Now, uh, you know, Lake Tahoe guy, Paul, I need to know if you want me to review your accounts, you have to give me more than just, hey, I have some engagement problems and this is my account. Tell me a niche. Try to post something interesting like an Anita set, you know, try to post something interesting that you might be, you might get me to want to check your, out your profile. Because here's the thing, even if I might not even check out your profile, uh, yeah, you can still all learn from that. So, show me, write me the most interesting thing about your account, okay? This is what we're going to do. Tell me the most interesting aspect of your account. And if you don't have something like this, well, you're going to know what you have to st start doing first, you know? What's your USP? What's your unique selling point? Or what's what's what makes you special, my little snowflake? Mean. In the meantime, Mean asks where to find ban hashtags. Well, you can find them actually on Instagram, you know, directly if you check out each and every individual hashtag. For example, let me just uh, hashtag. Usually, hashtag beauty blogger is banned. Not right now anymore. Beauty blogger. Oh yeah, hashtag beauty blogger for example is banned. This is how it looks like. You can still, you know, they, you you can still see a collection of posts, but you can't see recent posts are hidden because there's some community guideline strikes. You know, so this is uh, how you figure out whether a hashtag is banned. If you use hashtag, it will give you a list of you know banned hashtags. Uh, you put in your hashtags, you make your hashtag research, obviously, and it will tell you, well, this is banned. Or if you use the banned hashtag, um, you will see whether it's banned. Adam Krzmowski asks something very uh, you know, interesting, something very smart. Hey, don't you think selling is more important than building a brand? It feels like everybody has a brand these days. 
Yeah, but uh, here's the thing. Without a brand, selling becomes very, very harder. A lot harder than you might think. If you have a, a brand... And if you set up your brand in a way that, that makes people actually, actually want to work with you, buy your stuff, the selling actually is already part of the brand. You know, don't worry. We're going to talk about that a lot on, uh, on the YouTube, in our uh, uh, late, uh, newest YouTube videos. But um, obviously, uh, you know, and this is a, a big misconception that a lot of people have. People were like, yeah, well, I have to first build my brand and then start selling. You know, yeah, fuck, I have to build my brand for two years first until I have 20,000 followers and then I can start selling. That's actually not true. You can start selling as soon as you start your brand. You know, it's one thing because a lot of times if you don't start selling right from the beginning, people are going to think it's weird once you actually start selling. They're going to be like, what's going on? What's going on, you know? <laughs> and um, so, yeah, obviously selling is very important, especially if you, you know, if, if you want to make a career out of that. But you can start selling while building a brand. And this is the great thing, because while you're building a brand and while you're starting to sell something, you get tons of response from each other. And, um, you know, you can kind of take the information that you get from, from your sales and kind of see, okay, people buy something from you and they have still have some issues with whatever or ha still have some problems with your service or whatever. Now you can kind of tweak your service and then you can make it better and bigger as we go along. Kind of like what I do with my black file. You know, we've had the version out, version 1.0 out right now. I kind of wanted it to stay that way for quite some time. But since uh, the pandemic hit and lots of people lost their jobs or are still going to lose their jobs, we're going to update that and we're going to, you know, I'm going to build upon uh, the feedback that I got, making it better, ultimately fueling not only the sales of this product, but also fueling my brand, you know? So this is what's up. So I, I just saw somebody uh, sent a super chat. Thanks a lot. Uh, how can I figure that out? Bruce Craft, I see it on the left side here. Um, are you using anything for Instagram Live from a desktop? Do you and do you any tools for Instagram giveaways for organic growth? Um, yeah. Okay. So, Instagram Live. No, I don't use any tools. Even though you can use, you can use. I think you can even use OBS with some with some special software. Um, but uh, you actually don't have to. You know, for Instagram Live, you can just take your phone, put it somewhere here, just put a lot. A light here by the way I have two new lights you notice a difference probably no but it's it's yeah the, the, the Elgato lights they sent me they're actually pretty good um, and uh, do you have any tools for Instagram giveaways uh, for organic growth you're gonna have to be really really careful with the uh, Instagram giveaways for organic growth there's a tiny percentage of when they really work well also some growth loops we talk about it in the black file but you have to be really, really careful with that. Uh, and certainly no tools. The easiest thing would be to actually make a giveaway yourself. You know, something that's really closely related to, you know, your account. Let's say you're a tech account. You're, you're going to give away an iPhone or two iPhones. You're going to buy the iPhones and then you tr try to promote the hell out of that. You know, let people comment. You probably know the drill. So, yeah. So, let's take the last person. I hope you guys... Already put in some interesting things. You know, what makes you interesting? I'm going to read through them right now. Do we have a slow mode? I think we don't. A lot of reading going on. Still too fast for me. Just saw somebody who has... I have 407,000 subs on YouTube. Wow. Kudos to you. <laughs> uh, but only 8,600 followers on Instagram. How do you best help navigate your YouTube audience to follow your Instagram page? The easiest would be to actually have an extension of your content. 
and uh, funnel people over from your main videos over to your Instagram page. Sometimes, you know, let's say, well, I have no idea what kind of videos you would make, but let's just say you have a video on, you know, the nine best or the seven best X. You're gonna say, well, I have one or two bonus tips that I usually don't share. They're over my Instagram account. Or you can even say, um, I have a special thing for you, a special ebook, a special product or something that you get for free. Only thing you have to do is follow my Instagram account, like the two latest posts, write me a DM and you're going to get this. You know, you can actually, um, for example, put in some, you know, get, get some employee to actually do the, the messaging for you, some virtual assistant. But, uh, yeah, usually, usually this is how it works the best, but it's a hard grind to, uh, you know, cross pollinate your audience, you know, it's just hard. But, um, yeah, with these tricks, it should work a little bit better. I'm going to check out your uh, YouTube account later a little bit now. So no Twitch. No, there's no Twitch after party, my friends. Not today. Not today, my friends, because I'm tired and I have to go and uh, check out a new apartment tomorrow. So seems like a lot of you guys have a lot of th things to do because not a lot of you guys actually have something very, very interesting about your accounts. I might have missed some, but, but you know, you know your homework. Uh, Rebecca Camara asks, how can we hire your services? It actually um, depends what kind of services you want. If you want us or uh, our, uh, my agency to remove your ghost followers, there's a link down in the description. Uh, use the code Hey Dominic, and you're going to get 20% off for the next, I think, 24 hours right now. If you want me, if you want our agency to do your Instagram growth and, you know, tweak a little bit around and help you grow big time on Instagram, we have some clients that are doing 10,000 followers a month right now. Um, you know, up to 10,000 followers a month right now. And uh, yeah, if you wanted to do that, there's another link there. You're going to have to apply because we can't take everybody. Um, and if you want to learn the things that I do and kind of apply them yourself, um, yeah, wait for my free training. Um, yeah, wait for my free training. Because the black file right now is not open. You can watch the free training that's still available. The three uh, video part uh, training about the Instagram algorithm. It's down below. I think it's the first link or something. Uh, but it's going to go offline. So if you haven't watched that, watch it right now. It's going to go offline in about a week once uh, the new training is live. So let's take one of you people. Uh, you can lie. You can uke. Oh, ukulele tutorials probably you do, right? You can uke. Have you thought of doing weekly IG page audits, much like uh, how VidIQ does YouTube channel audits each week? Yes, I actually used to do that um, back in, I think, in April or something. We started weekly for one or two months. Now, you know, I've been traveling. I've had some stuff to do. But, uh, yeah, I'm you know, definitely thinking of trying to keep a one week, you know, a a schedule of one week now so we're gonna take amy surf uh, here's interesting it's been one month with my designing account and i'm killing it with my account but i need your help amy's life now let's just check whether you're actually killing it with your account who knows and you you have to know i mean i know you're you're I know your name because you're always here. You're a, you're a regular here on our live streams, but um, hey, didn't we didn't we check out your account already? Because I took a look at that. I think I took a look at that before, huh? Dominators, do you remember that? 
Oh, you didn't see. You don't see it. Why don't you say? Why don't you call me? <laughs> Tell me. Um. Oh, Dominic, I stopped using my old Nike as it was fucked up, but I started a new account. Just been a month. How should I find clients? Okay, just been a month. 500 followers. Actually, not bad. You're talking about Instagram growth, which is kind of nice. It's kind of a you know, topic that I have some knowledge in. <laughs> just a little bit. And um, I love the way you create your content. Uh, but you had you had kind of similar similar before right similar style of content I, how, what do you say people how do you like this content I really like it it looks really professional now you have the question how do you get clients first of all you have to know what do you do because there's a lot of things you're an Instagram consultant. You're a designer. Now, the first question that pops into my head, or that pops into my head, are you a consultant for designers, or what? What? What's that you do? And then you say you help businesses grow with Instagram. So is that your service? And then you say, uh, yeah, follow me. It's hundred percent free, right? Uh, you're gonna have to be a little bit careful with the word hundred percent free in caps. Because spammers like to use these things, and Instagram is very, you know heavy heavily against spammers, so uh, you know be careful with that, especially if you have a new account. But it seems like you're actually doing great. Like I said, I love the way that you do your content, and that you, you know, polish up your content. Now, um, also you don't have a link in your bio right now, which I would say is good if you're in for the growth you know i always talk about that don't put too many or don't put a link in your bio if you don't know what you're doing but um still you can make a test put a link in your bio for some funnel or for uh no 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 stop it no no stop it with the link i was just getting ahead of myself put another line in your bio saying well, DM me for a free Instagram audit if you want to grow, you know, help businesses grow with Instagram. And I guess this is what you want to do. DM me for a free Instagram audit. Then post about it in there. You know, instead of if you haven't followed me, sometimes say, oh, there you go. If you want to learn how to grow Instagram, just send me a DM. Well, you know, it's something that's not specific. People are not going to do that because it's not specific because it takes too much effort for people because then they're like, well, well, you know, I have to DM and then I have to, he tells me, I don't know what exactly he's going to tell me because I don't know what I have to ask and people are, are just going to be confused and they're not going to send you DMs. But if you give them clear uh, instructions, you're going to say DM me for a free Instagram audit. People are going to do that because people want stuff. And then you, you're going to audit them. You're going to tell them what they do right and what they do wrong. You know, you know, pinpoint some problems that they might have. And what you're going to do then is you're going to sell your services to them. Growth services, management services. I don't know what you do. Um, and you're going to, you know, sell it to them. Maybe, you know, depends on, on your price point. It's going to be hard for you to sell at the beginning this is why you might take some people for a very very cheap price say right now I have some special offer 70% off you know I'm only gonna take five people or three people you're gonna take those people you might even have to you know take them on for free get some testimonials and um, yeah post them in there as well and to continue to promote your Instagram growth services or whatever services that you have i hope that makes sense for you does that make sense people you know i'm waiting for the time in live streaming when there's a huge monitor when i see you all sitting in there or in vr i see you all sitting in there and if somebody asks a bad question i can just boop what's going on mcfly are you home <laughs> so um i hope that makes sense
Right. Um, is something? Is it fine to have a temporary Wix site in the bio? The real website is on development now. Um, yeah, it's always, you know, it's. I don't think it's a bad thing to have a Wix site in there. But here's the thing: minify your link, make your link shorten. You know, shorten your link, Bitly or something like this, because Wix slash blah 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 blah. Nah, it just makes it seem really unprofessional. Hustle, you said uh, I sent you a DM about the glitch. I'm gonna check it out right after the stream, which is gonna end pretty soon. And all good things have to have to end. Um, yeah. So, people. I guess that was it, my friends. We're going to do another live stream um, in about a week. Probably less than a week, we're going to see. Um, yeah. In the meantime, stay tuned for for a new content. Stay tuned for... Yeah. I don't even know. <laughs> but you should stay tuned for... But, um, yeah. So, any any late questions... Dominic, I want to know more about alt text. Um, yeah, uh, basically, try try to have an alt text for everything that you have, especially if you have some questionable stuff. You know, this is basically the image uh, algorithm trying to detect what's uh, what's going on in there. And um, yeah, that's basically all that that's basically all there is to say. Just try to. If you have an alt text, try to be as specific as possible. Say, you know, guy with a white t-shirt and a woman on his t-shirt saying the fuck you finger. No, it's not. But um, And a microphone that's golden but really beaten up. Um, sitting in the grass watching the roses die because of sour rain. Because of climate change. You know, um, uh, best thing to do uh, after a random drop of engagement. First thing you're gonna do a a lot of stories and uh, a lot of stories with what's it called? Now I'm missing my train of thought. A lot of stories with Q and A's and questions and answers. Okay, because people, yeah. Because uh, I figured the the story algorithm works really well if you get a lot of questions and responses back and forth. And uh, yeah. Anyway. So, Lisa in Canada. Hey, Lisa in Canada. <laughs> I sent you a postcard, right? From Kiev. That's nice. So, we're gonna go, my friends. I'll see you later. Thanks a lot for joining. And, um, yeah, thanks a lot for joining. I really enjoyed it today. Again, we're going to see each other in a few days. Uh, where's my ending screen? And, uh, yeah, you know, be good kids and don't drink and drive.